What's up guys, Tim Wilson here from Tango7 Gaming and welcome back to some more PGA Tour 2K21. We're jumping straight into our career. As you can see, we're on the PGA Tour career homepage. You'll see that from the previous event, and if you haven't checked out the uh, the last video, I did have some really, really good fortune in the last round. Um, wasn't a particularly good round going into the into the back nine. I think I was three or four under par. I'd had a bogey late on in the front nine, and uh, I just had an absolutely sublime back nine. I managed to, I think, my final three holes was a putt of 51 feet, a chip in from the bunker, and then a putt of around, I think it was around 21, 22 feet uh, for Eagle on the final hole to win by one over Matt Kucher, who is my, who's currently my rival. And uh, that gave us that 300 point buffer that you can now see on the FedEx Cup standings. So we are going to jump straight into the next event, which is the Skipjack Open on at the Tarawa Golf Club. So let's get this going. I have changed at the end of my previous video, I have changed my irons. So I'm now using the Wilson D7 irons. They do have a little bit more distance control, a little bit more distance. Um, they're a little less forgiving and the swing plane is a little narrower, but um, what difficulty clubs are you using? Hey Django, how's it going? Um, I am on a custom setting. The basic setting is pro, but I have changed some of the settings to make it a little bit harder. So I think that the default difficulty for pro is 1.5 multiplier. I think I'm up at about 1.6 something. Uh, Seago, we'll watch the last line. It sounds impressive. Hope you're well. I'm very well. Thank you, Seago. Hello and welcome to our PGA Tour coverage here on 2K Sports. We're at the Skipjack Open. It's time to get our coverage underway. I'm Luke Elvey with Rich Beam in the booth. And on course, we've got John McCarthy. Hi, Luke. Great to be here. Fantastic day of golf ahead of us. This is going to be a lot of fun. And as I mentioned in my previous video, when I saw that the next event was the Tarawa Open, this is the course that I played when I first got PGA Tour 2K21. It's the one that I played right off the back, and I think I'm, I shot a five over par. So it'll be interesting to see what, uh, what gains I've made. Little slow off the box there. It should be enough to carry that fairway though. Yeah, there we go. Well, well played. This shot from around 210 yards. So the wind is very, very different. Oh, so there's my irons changed already because I went from a three hybrid at 201 to a four iron at 186. So we've gained a few yards there, which is good because we're going to need those here. So that's my first shot with the new irons. That wind was a lot stronger than I thought it was going to be. Is that going to bounce up? No. Came up way short. Yeah, the approach didn't seem to fit their eye. Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. Would you say shot forgiveness or tempo is more or less on this one? Oh, it's a lot less forgiving. This game is... By far and away a lot less forgiving than the previous version. Right, so that's uphill, so that's going to roll a lot more. Oh, a lot less, should I say. Yeah, I'm glad I clubbed up there because that was... Uh, 
If I'd have left that where it was, I don't think I would have got there. It's a tr tricky putt as it is. That starts off on a good line. Nice. Yep. Nice to make a mid-range par putt. Good start to the round. Starting the round at even par. Jason Day, Andrew Putnam, Alex Noren, and Tommy Fleetwood. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. Uh, two mile an hour wind does that. Maybe the lie had an effect. I did check the lie. It was completely flat. I'm so, the wind does definitely have more of, a, of an effect. Even the lower winds, the higher winds have huge effect. But even the lower winds do have an effect. Whereas in the previous version of the game, they didn't so much. That is a hell of a tricky pin position. Very, very tough. Ah, oh, what an idiot. I meant to move it over. That wind just got a little stronger. Little fast. Oh, it could be out of bounds. Oh, is it going to go over the fence? Mm, I don't think you planned for that. <laughs> and he's not hit the mark on that approach. Is it missing it long with that? Wow. Approach, not a good leave. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Oh, Justin Thomas is at it already. Nothing like it. Eagle birdie. Look at that. What a start. And back to the course with the live action. <laughs> this would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Anything long, and this is going to fall off the back. Yeah. It's going to hit that slope. It's going to roll away now. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? Well, from down here, looking like 25 feet or so to the cup. Oh, too hard. Way too hard. Oh, what a great stroke. Oh. Well, that'll help you move up the leaderboard. <laughs> That's the kind of putt that I was sinking in the last video, and they are just really, really good luck. Let's not have a look. It went in, that's all we need to know. And that par ensures he'll stay right there at even par. Tie 53, so nowhere near. Bet that green was a bully. <laughs> that green is Welcome to the brutal. Go get after it. Look how skinny that little bit of fairway is. Slow would probably be better than fast here. Come on, come back, come back. It's all good. It's all good. Time for the second shot into the third. 259. We are not making it. We've got slope and wind here, so we are going to put this on the left-hand side. <clears throat> Ooh, that slope was a lot more yeah, vicious. Round, John. He's down there. What's the news? Unless it was the swing plane. Currently plus one. Playing his third Look at shot. The line on this one. Get in the hole. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Ooh, tasty little pitch shot. 
gets it to go. Fist pumps all around. Getting ready to play their third. For Eagle. Really tough shot though. 43. It's going to need more legs than that. That should be good enough. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. This putt just five feet away from the hole. Looking good. All right, one under. Well We're on the right I'd side of par now. This well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Currently one under for the event. Tie 37, so still way outside <coughs> the top Always 10. Positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. <coughs> excuse me. You'll have to excuse me if I do cough and splutter a bit. I do, I'm suffering with a little bit of a cold at the moment. Don't go in the rough. Please, thank you. Oh, absolutely flat. Second shot here on the four. Ninety four. I'm going to leave it there. This is a sand wedge. I might, I'll tell you what, I might do. I'm going to push it up to 96 and then I'm going to bring it back down with loft. Little slow. Is it going to get the legs to get there? Find the surface. Good shot this. Yeah, that's good enough. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Some momentum being built now. That's back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Do you think HBO, HB Studios, you mean, will come out with a patch that will make it a little easier? Um, I'm not so sure they will. I think they're happy with the game as it is. You know, people have the option to drop down to Pro-Am if they don't like the difficulty. Um, I choose not to. That's playing 190. I'm going to leave that exactly where it is. Looks to be going with the five iron. Oh, look at this. Right down the throat. Yeah, well played. We've already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. A little bit more on this one. It's up, it could be in. Okay, steady now. That rolled Six just right at the, the end. This one started out on a good line. And down she goes. Gotta say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Hey Tony, how's it going? Is a top with a one -stroke lead. Uh, online tournaments are on pro, so no point in going lower, in my opinion. Here we are at the sixth hole. Yeah, I haven't played any online tournaments, so uh, I couldn't answer that. To be fair.
little fast, but the wind should hold that straight. Is it going to sneak off? First cut, that'll do. And John, what's this one looking like? Well, they might have a good chance with this one. It's in the first cut, sitting, sitting pretty good. I don't think I want to go for the three wood here. That's the right option. You should never compound an error with another one. And let's take a look at this shot from a moment ago. Justin Thomas with an amazing shot. Well, what's he on now? Those always come in handy. Completely unexpected. Five under through six. Jeez, man. He's going to be flying at that leaderboard. Five strokes behind our leader. All right, 112 yards. We've got 112 yards with this club. We're playing a pitch shot. Going to slide it over a little. Going to play that where it lies, I think. To have opted for the eight iron. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. It's going to roll out a little bit. That's just inside the range. Already had a few birdies today. This for another. This punt to move into the top 20 on the leaderboard. Go on. Get in the hole. And that's for birdie. Well hold. And that will take him to three under. Tommy Fleetwood currently in the lead. Almost in the top ten now, just outside. We have a par three on this one. Oh, it's a long one. We've got a uh, got a hybrid in hand. Six two oh five. It's two oh one to the flag, but a six mile an hour wind. Hmm. Gonna have to play a partial here, I think. Water all round, so we cannot afford to get this wrong. Go with a three wood here. Ooh, I'm hoping the wind's gonna help Oops, me here. Uh oh, are never good words in this game. Oops. Uh oh. Oh, it's on the green. <laughs> That. Oof, look at that. 69 feet. So if this goes in, this will be my longest putt. Right on ten feet, a good one to make. Get excited. This could go in. Well done. All right, it's a solid, t solid, a solid scorecard at the moment. And now intrepid on course reporter John standing by. I'm down here following Matt Kuchar. We're on the eighth hole. Even for the day. <laughs> close was that to going down still even for the day Certainly makes putty easy if you can chip it that close you better believe it is great stuff to watch Tommy Fleetwood has a one-shot advantage over the field oh, Justin Thomas is now let's second let's see what happens here at the eighth Ooh, look at that green man jeez it's a well short hole I think I'm gonna just put this it's a short hole. I'm just going to put this in play. Oh, 
I would rather play a longer shot into the green and aim for a wider section of fairway. Nicely done. Um, 140 yards here. Four strokes off the lead. Not if you have the bar along the bottom. If you have the bar along the bottom, putt speed is determined by when you actually hit in the bar. The um, it's just the the angle of the putt, so direction as opposed to speed. Right, so we've got slope and wind here, and a tiny little piece of green that we're aiming at. Oh, <laughs> 142 yards. Let's push this up and bring it all the way back with some loft. It's a nine iron. It's not going to move that far. But that slope's going to move it. I'm hoping the wind's going to be stronger than the slope. Choosing the nine iron here. It's a little bit fast, so that's going to go on, sit. left. I'm hoping it's going to stick. Yeah, it is going to stick. That's a good looking shot there. Um, it normally equates to, I believe, a spot in the top ten on the line here if they can hold this. One inch up or down equates to one foot beyond or in front. That might be a bit hard. This one has eyes for no, it's good. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. Oh, here he comes into the top ten with a bolt. Trailing by four strokes. Four now. Mind you, Tommy Fleetwood's done now at eight under. Quite often the hardest hole in golf. A long par four. That fairway slopes from right to left. So we are going to go down the right here. Oh, that didn't feel good. Absolutely abused the golf ball there with that shot. Got to bounce right. Here it comes. Here it comes. Time to take their approach shot into the nut. All right, we have to respect this slope on this one. That slope is going to push that ball way left. Little bit of a slope there on the green we want to make sure we get over. This is playing 157 yards. Um, let's push this up. 157. Five mile an hour wind. Don't think that's going to be enough. It's an eight iron. Oh, a red fast. Woo, back there, horsey. Well, that's not too bad, actually. Uh, I am playing on PS4, yeah. Can I tell you what? I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. He's going to dive right at the end. Look at that. I'm going to put that over here. You watch this move right at the end. Watch it dive now. Look, look, look. Just Ooh. Opportunity to make their par. And that puddle drop. Well done. That's a good looking scorecard on the front line. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Well, you're on the dance floor, but a long way from the DJ. Let's just cozy this close to the hole. I do not want to see a putt drop from Justin Thomas. Get in. Oh, that's absolutely Dude. Good. And that's going to hoist him into first place. Eight under par through nine holes. He shot a 27. And after this hole, that's how it looks. Jesus. 
Oh, four shots behind Justin Thomas. I need to the beginning of the back nine. The tee is yours at the ten. I need to get in second place, so I need at least another three birdies here. That is a skinny bit of fairway. Can you go right here? That might be the preferred option actually. That's even thinner. <laughs> That's the way I didn't want to go. Yeah. Ah. I'm not going to get there into not to a decent position. Oh, come on, Justin Thomas. What? Oh, this is for par. That's for par. We need this one to bounce right. All right, so he's going to drop a shot there. A wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here on the tenth. That's Look, not. Nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Playing this shot from the sand. I'm going to play smart here. Just going to get this out and back in play. on that one getting ready to play their third four shots behind our leader so just to let you know i'm now four holes into my new course design so it's going pretty well i'm pretty pleased so far we have a par four a par five a par three and then a par four so it's going really well i'm really enjoying the process at the moment uh 72 yards to the flag right now um slight headwind so I'm going to push this up I'm going to move this over a wee bit that's exactly where I wanted that for par oh and it's not easy Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. And the puck will go. What a great display of resilience on this hole. In the bunker with their tee shot, and that is a very good save. Teeing off here at the 11th. All right, one seven. What? One seventy-two to the flag. I think we definitely need more club. I'm not sure we need that much more. We have to assume we're going to get 101% on the power because that seems to be the norm. A little fast. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. Distance was perfect. Well, that's a great shot. And a birdie opportunity coming up here at the 11. Bit hard, maybe. Yeah, that hurts. Ooh. Well, I don't mind this par putt. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Justin Thomas. I need four strokes to get in second place now. We have uh, a par uh, on this one. And after that par, we're looking for something good here. Thank you. 
Taking aim from about 180 yards here. 190. With a four iron, so it's going to come in quite hot. Oh, it's not going to hold the slope. Look, it's coming back down. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. It's just going to swing it left like nobody's business. Look at that. Look at this. The left no turn on that. Never in. Sometimes when you try and get it up the hill, you just forget to hit it sometimes. It seems so in this case. Well, I didn't forget to hit it, it was just a really tough putt. Justin Thomas is our current leader. Yeah, he's absolutely flying. Here we have a par five. Is it time to get after it or play it safe? Oh, I've got to get after it. I've got to try and close that gap a little bit. That swing. Reminded me of smooth jazz. Great win. That was a real nasty green. You're right there, Seagull. 266 again. We haven't got enough. I don't want a chance running off the gr off the fairway there. So I'm gonna play the smart one. I'm going to bring it back and play a pitch shot in. Don't. Oh no. That's a bit out of shape. It's not going to bite now. And here we are with the third shot. It's not Five too bad. It's not too bad. 54, that's playing. We're in the rough. 54, it's playing. Wind behind. 48, is that enough? I think it might be. A little fast. Come on, where's the flag? That'll do. This putt coming up is for birdie. Go for it, Django, mate. You won't regret it. I don't mind the look at this. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. And that will take him to five under. There's still two par fives to come, so I've got a chance. Like it. Move it up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Justin Thomas, ten under now. With ten under. There's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Oh, that's so risky. Look at that though. Would you risk it for a chocolate biscuit? If you ever wanted a perfect shot, that's when you want it. You can hear the excitement in the air. It's starting to build. Sweet drive. I like that, didn't you? Let's head to the 15th for another highlight. Matt Kuchar with a fantastic shot. Jeez, he looks like he's in a pond. <laughs> oh, oh, what a shot. Currently minus five. Currently tied for seventh position. 
All right, we've got the winds picked up now. We started at two mile an hour. It's now nine mile an hour. Uh, 108, what have we got? We've got 119 to go. Nine mile an hour wind. This has got to be the club. It's got to be the club. Oh, bite! Got a wicked kick off that bank. Wow, what a shot. Absolutely, in there close. Good look at Birdie coming up. The important part here, they make it, they're into the top five. Looking better. Mark it down, that's six birdies today. And that will take him to six under. Our leader is currently enjoying a four stroke advantage. So we got Look at that, four Englishmen in the top five. Nice. This hole is a par three. Got two par threes and two par fives left, so realistic opportunities to score are the par fives. Look at this, this is another one of these crazy, look at that, another one of those crazy humps on the green. 162. It's 167. We are gonna we're gonna play that as it lies. I'm maybe gonna put a take a little bit off of it. Oh, you couldn't paint a better picture. Bit Goodness. slow. Wow, and it's long. I'm gonna be in that bunker that Cooch was in. This is the same bunker that I thought he was in the he was in the water. Air mailed the green with that approach. Oh, well played. Aren't you an expert in the bunker? A tie for fourth place if you can hold this part. As I say, three holes to go. It's a good position to be in. It's uh, the realistic now scoring opportunities of the par fives. Let's see what happens here at the 16th. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go for this. This is a good time again. No, no, no. Oof. Well played, mate. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau. I was going to say, please God, don't show me Justin Thomas again. And here we are with their four. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. What a run out. What a run out there. Look at that. Get his back nine. Nothing on the front. Thank you very much. Time for the second shot at the 16th. Hey Smudge, how's it going buddy? Oh well done. Getting ready to play their third. Wind's blowing from left to right. They're gonna try and hook this one in the wind to slow the golf ball down. No we're not. for the 9-iron.
All right, we have a. That's a great shot here at 16. It sets Oof. up a chance for birdie. It's not easy. It's not an easy putt. Come on! Seven birdies today, and with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. And JT is currently our leader. I need one more birdie. I'm not going to catch Justin Thomas. Twelve under three sixteen. You're having a laugh, mate. You... Par three on this one. Two six two twenty minus six two fourteen into a seven mile an hour wind. For the three That's okay. That wind's going to straighten that up, I think. Ooh, are we going to have a birdie opportunity here? Maybe. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Ooh, good look at a birdie here. All right, so I've got a birdie the last to actually get into a tie second. I was hoping to get second on my own. John, what's going on out there? Well, guys, I'm on the 18th. This is Matt Kuchar's next shot. What's Kuchar on score-wise? Level par. So we're definitely going to get some points on Cooch today. Ooh, almost went in. It is in. All right, so he's got bogeys in there. We haven't got bogeys at the moment, so. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. No, I haven't had a Just hole in one yet, Sego. The leaderboard now a three-shot lead. Well, let's come down to this, the final hole. Welcome to the 18. Is that water left and right? Gonna have to do it. Come on, that finish line's in sight. Let's power towards it. I need the wind to help me a bit here. Yes. Well struck. Second shot here on the 18th hole. Oh, we can reach it, but can we stop it? Gonna have to do this. Look at those slopes. 218. Don't think it's gonna get up there, but let's see. Opting for the hybrid, I think. That's definitely not gonna get up there. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Ooh, if I hadn't hit that slow, it would have got on. All right, let's see if we can chip and this close. Third shot. Currently four shots off the pace. It's in the heavy rough. Problem is, I need to get it up, and then it needs to stop. Yeah. Ooh, that almost went down. That's a high quality recovery shot. Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. Well, I'll take that. I will take that. First round on Tawa plus five. Second round minus eight. Definite improvement. Comes to a close, but he finishes in an impressive share of second place. Top three finish. That is a good show and you know, obviously didn't play well enough to get to uh, the victory circle but still you got a lot of good things headed your way and that's not including the big paycheck but still some good golf to build on heading into the next tournament it'll be interesting to see how this helps him moving forward I'll take that on behalf of myself Rich Beam and all the hard-working folks at HB Studios thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time because that's more of a damage limitation exercise, especially with Justin Thomas that far out in front.
So we got six points out of, out of a possible seven there against Cooch. So we need five more to beat him. So the rivalries are going really well. Uh, let's see what the damage is. I, I don't think we're going to have relinquished top spot. No, we haven't. So we got 245, he got 500, so that's 255 difference. And I think I had a 300 point lead on him, so that's going to be reduced to about 100 points, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's just less than 100 points, so he caught up really, really well there. Finish around with approximately the whole of 30 feet or less, 23.9. So I take it that's average. So that's a pretty good one to get, actually. Score nine one putt pars or better. We've done that eight times out of the nine, so we should do uh, we should get that one. Score par or better in a round of PJ with a 1.3 putts per hole. So we clearly didn't the one putt, we didn't do the 1.3 putts per hole because we were eight under par. So we did that bit, but not the other bit. I would imagine in the next round we're going to do nine one putt pars or better. Um, but still at the top of the FedEx Cup standings, only just. Uh, I'm going to call it a night there, guys. I was going to do a second round, but I am going to call it a night there. I think uh, I did a round earlier and I've done a round now, so I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much to all those people that tuned in live and everybody that joined in on the live chat it's always greatly appreciated and thank you very much if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button if you're new to the live stream or you're new to the youtube channel please hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this but until tomorrow guys take care and i'll see you then bye bye now